Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this show on YouTube. Go to search, type in Take Your Life Back Today show, or Ralph Friedrichs. This morning, Sunday, early, finding miracles in everyday life. If, uh, if, if we view life through a lens of faith in Jesus Christ, our eyes will be open to many miracles all around us. So let's go and start with what is a miracle? We know what a miracle is, right? Moses, Moses parting the Red Sea, the Savior giving sight to the blind man, a woman being cured from terminal illness. One of the most extraordinary miracles is the atonement of Jesus Christ. No miracle has ever been so far reaching or powerful, but are, uh, but are those the only types of experiences that could be considered miracles? Many miracles happen every day in the work of the church and in the lives of Christians. But when was the last time that you moved a mountain or saw a few fish and a few loaves of bread feed thousands of people? Most of us probably haven't seen anything like that in our life. So how can that statement be true? According to the Bible Dictionary, miracles are manifestations of divine or spiritual power. With that definition, let's now open our eyes to the many miracles that surround us. Miracles that we might not even recognize. We definitely see God's hand in the lives of his people through miracles in the scriptures. But we can also see spiritual power when we receive an answer to a prayer, strengthen our testimonies, or have a change of heart. Still, there are other miracles that we tend to forget. The sun rises and sets each day. Small seeds grow into mighty trees. The many components of our body work together, enabling us to breathe, run, dream, and eat. Inspired advances in medicine and technology are happening every day, and we can now communicate with almost anyone, anywhere. God's power can be seen in every detail of our lives. Why does God perform miracles? Miracles come in many forms, but God performs them for the same overall purpose. Sometimes miracles heal, comfort, or physically protect God's children. But these outward effects are not the only reason for miracles. Often the miracle doesn't prevent suffering or tragedy at all. God performs miracles for two basic reasons. To strengthen faith and to accomplish good. Often, miracles manifest God's power to his children or teach a spiritual principle. The Bible Dictionary says that Jesus Christ and many, uh, many miracles were intended to, uh, to be proof of the Jews that Jesus was the Christ and to teach principles such as accountability, repentance, faith, and love. Other times, miracles can conform, uh, confirm a previous revelation such as the signs of Christ's birth in Americas. God can also use miracles to advance his work, family history, work, missionary work, and more. But if we seek miracles for the wrong reasons, we run into trouble. The most, pro uh, most common problem comes if we see signs of proof of God's existence. If we don't add any faith to the equation, these signs won't ever lead to real, lasting conversion. Just look what happened in the Bible. Many people saw signs of miracles, but without faith, the obedience was short-lived. It would be wrong to seek miracles for popularity or money, for pursuing revenge, or for trying to change God's will. Miracles are not for the unbeliever. They are to console the saints and to strengthen and confirm the faith of those who love, fear, and serve God. Understanding why uh, God performs miracles can help us recognize them in our own lives each and every day. How can I recognize a miracle is a good question. <laughs> miracles happen only according to the will of God and our faith in Him. And neither at any time hath 
any who wrought miracles until after their faith. Wherefore, they first believed in the Son of God. Having faith allows us to use the good things that happen in our lives as the work of God rather than uh, coincidence or good luck. Recognizing a miracle is part of a miracle itself. If we view life through a lens of faith in Jesus Christ, our eyes will be opened to the many miracles around us. However, the size, timing, and result of the miracle are not measured by our faith. Let's say two families each receive news that one of their children has cancer. Both families pray for the loved one to recover quickly. Both family, uh, families exercise faith in the healing power of Jesus Christ. The child of the first family makes a full recovery, defying the doctor's predictions that she, he or she only has a few months to live. The child of the second family suffers through treatment after treatment and finally passes away. But the entire family is overwhelmed with peace and comfort rather than despair. The first family was not necessarily more faithful than the second family. Both families received miracles in their own way and both miracles are part of a pattern of continual reassurance that God has a plan for each of his children. The Lord performs both seemingly ordinary and extraordinary miracles in our day. Faithful followers of Jesus Christ in every dispensation have experienced dramatic healing and unexplainable successes. However, we should not overlook the everyday events that act as reminders of God's hand in our lives. Sometimes we just have to recognize them. Some reasons God's perform, uh, God performs miracles to manifest his power, to teach a spiritual principle, to confirm a previous revelation, to confirm and strengthen faith to advance his work. What can I do, you might ask? Well, spend some time reflecting on the past week. Have you witnessed ordinary miracles in your life, da daily life? If a miracle you expected didn't happen, was there another experience that provided you with comfort, spiritual growth, or a chance to draw closer to the Savior? Miracles are all over. Believe in Christ and witness them. Start today. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to that neighbor. That old man or old woman can change their life and can even change your life. May you today, Sunday, have the best Sunday of your life. And you, may you praise Jesus Christ and may God bless you in each and every step on your journey of life. May God bless you and we'll talk to you guys real soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.